Last year, our state legislature made a bunch of new tax laws right before they made teachers mad for a month. And so maybe this year, the way we file taxes are going to be a little bit different. And I don't know anything about CPAs other than I've been to Pennsylvania before. So I came downtown to meet with a real tax professional to tell me what I need to do differently this year. Let's find out. Well, a couple of things happened. So both for businesses and for individuals, we have one flat income tax rate, 5%. We used to have three, four, five, six percent but now it's five. Okay. No matter how much income is taxable, it's five. So they changed the tax brackets? They eliminated the brackets and just made one rate. Okay, so they made the bracket a lot easier. Yes. Like the NCAA does for Duke every year. <laughs> yes, indeed. In the end, are we gonna get more money out of that as a state or less money? So the actual estimates are that we'll get a little less money out of that. But it, that was done to encourage both individuals and businesses to come to Kentucky. Are my deductions gonna be the same? The only deductions now in Kentucky for individuals are mortgage interest and charitable contributions. So no more uh, health care right. costs as a deduction. Right. Honestly, Ken, I think that's going to hurt our seniors. Right. Um, the other thing that the General Assembly did is up until 2018, people who were retired could exclude from their taxable income $41,110 per person, and they reduced that to $31,000. 110, so they reduced it by $10,000. So they're gonna have $10,000 of retirement income that's taxable. That automatically, if I could do the math, which is questionable, 10,000 times 5% would be maybe $500. 5%. That <laughs> would be, thank you. And then they don't get to deduct their health care insurance premiums, and maybe their actual health care expenses. So and that could be a big deal for people. I'm like, I mean, I'm in peak physical condition according to my doctor, so it's not a big deal to me. But most other people that are seeing a doc, that's a big change. What kind of changes do we see in terms of sales tax? We saw lots of wild and hairy sales tax okay. changes. See, you have to be- So mostly barbers? <laughs> no barbers. No barbers. No barbers, no hairdressers. That's okay. so funny you say that. So somehow or another, this rumor went around that barbers and hairdressers we're gonna be subject to tax, but they're not. Now your dog's barber or hairdresser is. Okay. Okay, pet grooming is. Pet grooming is, human grooming is, is not. not. That's right. The General Assembly tried, but I don't know how successful they were, to pick services where people were already filing sales tax returns, so it wouldn't be that much harder for them to add this particular okay. service. Um, so it was easiest. It was supposed to be. So, since the government is shut down, does that mean I don't have to pay my taxes? Well, that's not how it works. Even though the government shut down, the promise is most, for the most of those folks, when they come back, they'll get their pay, okay. uh, albeit belatedly. Can I prorate what I paid for as long as they took off this year? No. So it's just next year that I can do that? No. Oh. Well, I mean, it sounds like we might be saving some money, even if it's just a little bit. I mean, 0.8% might not sound like a lot, but let's say you make $30,000. That's like uh, $240. That's a lot of money. I mean, the president could feed a whole football team with that kind of money. So just be mindful of what you're doing this year. Go see a professional if you need some help. It's tax season. Let's get on board.